EDIT is also where you undertake your measurements um, and add annotations to your radiograph. The Metron software is unique in that it requires you to calibrate your images before you can perform measurements. This is a strength of the software because it allows for very accurate measurements to be taken. There are a few options for calibration. The first one is the use of an autoscaler, which will have been delivered with your X-ray system. As long as you include this in your image, the software will automate, automatically detect it and calibrate accordingly. If this has been forgotten, another option is to use two points on your image that you are confident of their exact size. For example, this INV marker or your generally your left and right marker on your software is something that's generally present in every X-ray or should be present in every X-ray and can be measured very um, accurately. So if I know that this marker is in fact one and a half centimeters in width, then I can just mark it and write and that will calibrate my image. There's a third option if you've forgotten to place your marker as well and that patient is um, no longer available, you can use something called your known pixel pitch, which asks for your object to focal distance and your film to focal distance. This would not be as accurate as the other two options. Film to focal distance is generally set at either 80 or 100 centimeters in small animal practice. So that's just something to um, measure from the anode to the detector. And then your object to focal distance is a slight guess. Um, essentially, if you're wanting to measure something on a bone, you've got to guess how far away that object is from your detector and then enter those numbers as appropriate, which will allow a third me method of calibration. We then are able to move to free markup, which allows for um, labeling certain um, structures, your right and left markers, and of course your measurements. Regardless of whether you have calibrated your image or not, you can still use annotations like your right and left marker. So click on the left marker and click on your screen. You then have a little handle that's associated with that marker, which allows you to move it across the screen. You can also change the size of your font. Um, the line size and the line color if desired. You can add labels. Which you can edit in the relevant box. And once again, you're able to change your size of your label and the thickness of the line and the line color. So there are various lines, we can draw parallel lines, um, we can draw squares, we can put in labels, we can label lateral and medial in an image. In terms of measurements, we find these here. So we get a linear measure, which as I mentioned, will not be available unless the image is calibrated. 
We can change the font and the line width. Once again, um, we can also measure an angle and move that around. Change our position of our um, start points. And we can do a caliper measure, um, percentage measure, parallel lines, perpendicular measure, um, as desired. So to move through our various annotations, we and to say delete or change them, we have we know which is active by the um, presence of this red handle. So we can delete current. Um, we can select next, so we can move between our handles using the select next button and then delete or edit as appropriate. Mm -hmm. 